Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nezzy and this is Diesel. And in today's video, Diesel was challenged by Carla from Mrs. Lovely's TV, husband Be Smooth, to do the Get to Know Me Challenge. Big so bro, little bro, little bro. <laughs> I got you. So um, Diesel's gonna answer some questions. Um, the same questions Be Smooth, Carla, and I were asked in the Get to Know Me Challenge. So are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. We have our Dunkin' Donuts drinks. Bring it on. My matcha, iced matcha with almond milk and... And I got my buddy pecan, my favorite. <laughs> so this is going to be so much fun. So I am going to start with the questions and you're going to answer. Okay. I did mine. So for those of you who are new, please think about subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting on this video. If you haven't seen my Get to Know Me Challenge, please, I think it's the one before this one. So please check that one out. So the first question is... What was your favorite color as a child? And what is your favorite color as an adult? Well, that's easy. Blue has always been my favorite. And, and it's so funny because my high school colors are, are light blue and dark blue. So it was my favorite color then. It's my favorite color now. And I got other colors like earth tone. I like to wear brown and beige. Uh, sometimes red, you know, especially um, um, dedicated to my brother, my older brother who passed on. So I like to wear bright colors too at times, but that's my all-time favorite colors. Light blue. So light blue. Carolina blue. Carolina blue. Okay. On to question number two. So question number two is where in the world would you like to go? Oh, well, actually, uh, two places. Uh, Hawaii. Uh, I would like to go because I, I heard so much about it. It's beautiful, tropical islands, and I love, obviously, I love one places being moved to Florida, and actually Dubai, you know, for our culture's sake. I, like, I definitely want to, that's definitely, those two are my high top bucket list. So Dubai, so when are we going? Soon. <laughs> Soon in the future. Good answer, Diesel, good answer. <laughs> On to question number three. So the question is, are you married or are you single? Obviously, <laughs> marriage has its challenges, but I, I've never been more happier. You know, me and this woman here, you know, we just celebrated 10, 10 years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like marriage is, is, is always something you have to work at. But we get along so well. I never get along with anybody I've ever been in my life with this woman here. I mean, she gets, she gets me, I get her. We got, we got that crazy sense of humor. And you know, when we laugh, we, we, we can do our spasm of laughing, you know. You know and yep, every night. <laughs> every night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's all good. Uh, Aww. I love you. I love you too. So the next question is, do you have any kids? No, we don't. It's just us, you know. Just happen to be that way, so we're, we're each other's kids. You know, we have nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. And That's I, what I, I, said I got a bunch kids. of our children, so you know. That's as good as it gets. So the next question is. All right, so the next question says, why did you create a YouTube channel? Well, as you know, I don't have a YouTube channel, but my wife does. And I've been telling her, like, for like, what, almost five years? Five, longer six years, than that. Longer than that, mm -hmm. to tell her to you know, get out there because she has that personality and everybody gravitates to her like and I say yo babe put this on you know on social media you know because you have a good personality besides beautiful looks thank you you know she's a she's a, a person for us we're, we're friendly outgoing people so why keep it bottled up you know bring it to the world you know bring it to you guys mm -hmm. so you know hey and she finally did it I'm so proud of her thank you babe Thank you. What's about teamwork? Teamwork, dream work. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so the next question is. Okay, so the next question is, what's the most inspirational or something that something or someone that you've been inspired by or a situation or experience that you've experienced that has inspired you? 
So if you didn't hear um, Carla, she said, what is the most, um, something that has inspired you or an experience that has inspired you? Mm -hmm. Some to, the, to that effect. So. Right, right, right. That's a good question. There's a few uh, people or things that inspire, inspire me. Like, you know, I'm an ex-athlete, you know, so I always like have this, 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 like this workout, you know, like beast mode type type thing, you know, as far as me, you know, because one point I fell out of he uh, bad health and, and um, you know, once I stopped competing, playing, I used to play football. And what inspires me is like, I guess other like people who's into f fitness and health, Stuff like that, like you know, like uh, like Ronnie Coleman is a body ex bodybuilder. You know, I used to look at stuff like that, or um, other other people in the like like fitness workers. You know, if that makes any sense. Um, football football athletes that do regiments and stuff like that. You know, I I, I watch a lot, like uh, like like this new kid that plays for the Rams, Aaron Donald. I was watch, I was watching him. You know, after they won the Super Bowl and watch this guy worth ethnic and he really got me hyped up to get, you know, mm -hmm. do better for myself. You know, I'm not competing no more, but still know I'm competing for life. And that's far more than playing a career, a sports career, life itself, you know, as long as you, you know, you make it, as long as God keeps you here. Right. If that makes any sense, does that, does that make sense? Yeah, you did. So fitness and um, people, who, who work out and, and, and stuff who work out to live, not yeah. just to work out to look good, but you have to feel good inside. So because he been through a lot, so I guess yeah. Yeah, because yeah, whenever I'm, part I'm stressed, I, I go to the gym. I'm sorry, baby, I'm cut you. Off. Whenever I'm stressed out and down, I go to the, either one or two things. Either I work out or I eat. I'm mostly eating, and I think workout is way better than eating a lot. Because I, you know, what's I'm an emotional eater. You know, I'm a foodie anyway. But We're foodies. We're but we love I'm, to eat. When I'm depressed or d get a little depressed or down, I I eat, you know. So, I'm yeah. getting better. I mean, getting it's better. okay to eat. We, 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 like I said, and you've seen on previous vlogs, we love to eat. Yeah. The good thing is that he works out. I don't, so. Well, um, you know, you keep yourself active, you know. And, I try, I try. And, and especially now that but, we, you know, we moved. We moved, so. Yeah, by the way, guys, we are in our new home, yeah, so that's yeah. why um, if you hear an echo, I apologize for that, but we're not done, but we're getting there, so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. On to the next question. So the next question is, what is your favorite inspirational song? There's a, a, a gospel group, uh, the Williams Brothers, called I'm Still Here. I mean, when I hear that, that gets all of my feelings. I mean, you know, whatever was heavily bothering me, I'm listening to that. It's like a reminder. All what you're going through, but the fact that you're still here. And I'm still here, and I feel God is not, it's not done with me. You know, it's a perfect, I have, everybody has someone of purpose in life. And, and, and in mine, you know, I feel like I still have a whole lot of living to do. You know, so whatever I feel down and out, associated with one of my loved ones and I, I here here. You know, and I listen to that song, it makes me very emotional. And to say, my, you still hear you know, this. Just live on for the people who, you know, so dear to you in your heart. You know, live for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, because I, I love life, I love being happy, I love, you know, I just love life, you know, because it's it's tough today. It's tough today. So you got to stay prayer, prayer, prayer out there, you know? Amen. So, I'm still so the next question is, what was your favorite road trip? Oh man, uh, recently, like when we went to Georgia, mm -hmm. you know, and then um, and then the time you uh, surprised me uh, when we when we went to uh, Chicago, and we and we um, went to go went to go uh, to Wis uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see uh, the Bears play the Green Bay Packers, and we won. I mean, I got on the Falcon stuff. That's, you know, I, I wear a lot of jerseys and stuff like that, but I'm a Dar Bear fan. She's a Green Bay fan. Mm -hmm. So that was that was fun too. What did you like about Atlanta? 
You know, the, the, the songs we were singing and, you know, and everything. And we were. Stuff, you know, <laughs> and the joking we were doing. And then, like, the trip was just so, so, it was fun, man. Yeah, we did. We had a good time. The hotel was, like, nice, comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we were in Dunwoody, 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 Georgia. And the, and the people there showed us so much love. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, shout out to Mike Rich, you know, uh, Jay the Sneaker Guy and T Ward and and uh, Rachel Rick, Matty Kicks, you know, they showed us mad love in Georgia, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a fun road trip. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Is, is, that, is that all, uh, is that, is that all, we got another, another question? That's no, it's not rushing. No, no, I'm saying that for a reason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hold on. Is that it? Is it no, it's not. That's okay, good. Question. All right, ready. Bring it on. I'm ready. So the next question is, what is the biggest way you change from a child to an adult? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my whole personality. Um, coming up as a kid, believe it or not, I, I, was, I was shy. I was That's shy. I and, I, and I never... As a, as a, you know, I always was, I was never was a, like, small person. I was always usually big, one of the biggest people in, in my classes coming up. And my teachers Going always up. told me, for a big guy, you speak soft. And I don't have a deep voice, so you got to speak up. You know, whenever, like, you know, back in the days, you always remember going up to school, open school, I used to call it. Well, they always tell my, tell my parents, yeah, he's a nice guy, he's, he just, he just doesn't speak speak loud enough. Sometimes I gotta tell him speak up. Don't be afraid to speak up. Or I used to be shy, like I was shy in high school, you know, and stuff like that. I remember even jo well, junior high school, even worse. I remember calling a, a girl who I, I had a little crush on, and and she told me like at graduation, say, you know, I liked you, but if, the only problem is you never speak up. You're so quiet. He was like, you know, because back then they like a woman, gonna, a girl gonna come up and speak to you. You know, you gotta speak to them. I was always free to be checking. Now I'm bold. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I, I got my daddy's personality. And you knew my father. You know, he's he was one of those. See, when you, my thing is, don't back me up against the wall. Because if you back me up against the wall, then I'm gonna come out, you know, good or bad. You know, I'm 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 one of those. I'm not to be played with, you know, respect me, I respect you, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, I speak my mind, I speak what I want, and you know, especially now, you know, you gotta be that way, because the world is tough, man, and that's why, you know, I mean, growing up in, in, in New Brooklyn, New York, you know, I got my butt kicked a few times, pushed around, before I got tough, you know, because I had a brother who was um, mentally, who was mentally, who was mentally challenged, and people was, was you know, Kids, you know, kids would be kids. Be so I had to play the big brother role, even though he was older. You know, so that's that's my way of, you know, I grew, I grew a lot. Okay, guys, those were all the questions, and Diesel, you did an amazing job. Thank you. And so, yeah, guys, anything or anyone, I'm sorry, anyone you want to tag on this uh, get to know me challenge? Yeah, I'm, I'm a challenge. Two brothers. One, I, I call, I call, I adopt these guys as as my family. I'm challenging you, Mr. Mike Rich, I call him my, uh, my YouTube son. And I'm challenging my, my nephew, my nephew there, Mr. Mr. J, the sneaker guy. Challenge you to the get to know me challenge. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is going to do it um, for this video, the get to know me challenge. Again, we would like to thank Miss Carla. Her YouTube channel is Mrs. Lovely TV. Please go follow her. Um, she does a lot of vlogging, um, and her husband, Be Smooth. Thank you, Mr. Be Smooth, for challenging Diesel. Yes, and yeah, guys, again, please go follow them, and we will see you in the next vlog or video. But before we say goodbye, or not goodbye, we'll say later, please, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, yes. like and comment on yes. this video. Yes. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So, yes, guys, we will see you again in the next video or vlog, and have a blessed weekend. Until then, adios. Adios, be blessed. Peace.